What's up, guys? Hola. Hoje nos vamos descobrir o que o Gerard está pensando sobre Brasil e as primeiras impressões dele do país. Brasil, We are gonna learn. Brasil, Brasil. <laughs> yeah, so uh, what are you thinking about, about Brazil so far? I can't stop smiling is like the first, the first thing. You seem like you're having a good time. <laughs> I am, I am having a good time. And then being with an experienced <laughs> Brasi Brasileño, right? Brasileiro. Brasileiro has just made the experience um, <coughs> that much better. I think um, your first impression of Brazil, like you obviously learned so much more about Brazil than people normally do before coming, you totally. know, just coming to visit a little totally. bit. Is there anything that you've seen or done so far that is like exactly how you thought it was going to be? Or is there anything that you thought was going to be one way and you got here and kind of surprised you? In general, there's just like a certain energy mm -hmm. of, of Brazil and obviously with my Dancing my high energy. It's something that has been spot on with mm. what I expected and before coming here everyone was already being super warm and welcoming and That's been the exact same thing here. It's yeah. like it, it like again I can't stop smiling because of how kind everyone we've interacted with and all mm -hmm. the activities that we've done random people like everyone has just been yeah, really really great Yeah. And so energy, great people, those are the two things so far that have been like spot on. Yeah. What about stuff that's kind of a little different than you were expecting? Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, and I've been, and this one's been a little bit more difficult on just me because, you know, we have been learning so much about Brazil for the last seven, eight months or so, and yeah. it's been a lot of fun you know, and yeah. we have watched some movies and seen some stuff that really talks about some of the complex things here. There's a lot of problems and a lot of issues and one big thing has been security. Mm -hmm. um, and of course, you know, I'm just like up in arms with everything that we do, let's go, vamos. But then also every single person that we've talked to, um, from all parts, you know, I feel like we've talked to people all over the socioeconomic like status. Yeah, yeah we and have. Everyone has this story about security here and how it's it's a real, real problem. Mm -hmm. And um, it's something that you definitely have to keep in mind more. And it's kind of grounded me a little bit and you know, getting a fuller picture of this country. Yeah, yeah. Is there a specific, I mean, example of the ways, I mean, because obviously nothing has happened to us yeah. while we've been here. Yeah, yeah. Um, are you talking about like how it is, the feeling of like walking on the street or just like what I've been telling you or like what other, you know, other Brazilians have been telling you yeah, about? Well, I mean, so the first thing is, You know, I was super excited to come here, but everyone, like the first thing people say has been like, you have to be careful, you yeah. know, you have to be safe. So that's like one area, but then the other, our very first place that I came and met you was um, a nicer neighborhood that had like security guards with like um, bulletproof vests. Yeah, it was and, in like, a condominium, right? In a condominium, yeah. And that was crazy, mm -hmm. you know? And you hear these stories, but to actually see it is like a whole nother kind of eye-opening experience. Mm -hmm. And then I also just had my Airbnb host that I told you about. I mean, he was a really amazing this guy. Is, this is in Sao Paulo. In Sao Paulo, yeah. yeah. He was really amazing and super nice. And we kind of started to talk about things, but um, he kind of told me that he didn't leave his house really yeah. that much. Yeah, and that's like on an extreme end. Yeah. And Sao Paulo definitely is less safe than like where we're staying in near Curitiba. But yeah, it is something that all Brazilians have to be aware of and it's something unfortunately that is part of everyday life in Brazil is just making you know little precautions of you know not leaving 
your expensive camera equipment in the car when you park it on the street or yeah. you know not walking across the city when if you can help it and you know maybe take an uber take a taxi those kind of little things that you know it's not fun to tell you about but now that you're here seeing those kind of things and hearing those stories that you do see have a little bit more of the reality of, of the country I don't know I didn't want to scare you before you came like and at the same time, like I said, nothing has ever happened to me in Brazil. Like, yeah. I've lived here for a while. I've visited multiple times since I left. Um, yeah, nothing's happened to me. But you do hear stories and you do have to make those those precautions. But Different than the States, you kind of always have to have your guard up. Mm -hmm. You know, you always have to be alert no matter yeah. what. Um, someone starts walking behind you you know you kind of you turn you're just yeah, like more yeah. you're just more aware and more alert well and, and my my example of that during this trip was when we were doing graffiti in Bekwa yeah it was like in a pretty sketchy part of pretty sketchy alley and there were people that were like walking by and I had my expensive cameras just sitting out in the street and like every time somebody would walk by I totally. had to like oh you know look back like oh shit is he gonna run off with my camera yeah, yeah. and it's terrible I hate that you know it gives you that feeling but you know it's just something that you have to you have to think about Totally. But um, let's lighten it up a little <laughs> bit. What has been your favorite food that you've eaten here in Brazil? Don't, we don't, just, so don't. we've had we had pizza a couple times, Brazilian pizza. You times. didn't like it the first time. I did not like it the first time. But we had it last night and you liked it better. I did, I really, it's kind of night and day how much I liked the pizza last night compared to yeah. the first time. The first night we ate pizza, we got it from somewhere we didn't know the restaurant. We just stopped there, ordered pizza, took it home. Last night we went to a place that we know in Curitiba that was really good. Um, you had you tried the uh, sweet pizza, which was it was like dolce de leche, banana, canela. It was really good. Yeah, it was good, and that's in and, and just throughout this whole tr time that we've been traveling together, a thing I've noticed is Brazilians like the combination of sweet and savory. Yeah, you know, and so like that pizza, I was like, oh, that's a little weird, but very good. And we've had like queijo with um, dulce de leche mm -hmm. and the like. Guayaba with guayaba? Goyobaba. Goy Goyobaba. That's yeah. what, that's what <laughs> <laughs> um, But so that's been a really big thing. Um, I think my favorite though has been feijoada. 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 The one we had in the favela. The one that we had in the favela. Yeah, it was, it was good feijoada, guys, in Parizopolis. Yeah. It was, yeah, it's, it's a really simple dish, but like, I mean, it's very... I think like healthy it gives you all the nutrients and stuff that you need but it also just tastes just it's very good it's really good yeah. I could I could eat that all day every day yeah I'm not a <laughs> huge fan of feijoada like I think it's good but I don't think it's like my favorite thing but but we've had so much good food so those are just the ones that come to mind right what about drinks Caperinha, <laughs> caperinha. Sherrod has been getting down on the caipirinhas. Yeah, yeah, they're they're good, and I I like them with not that much azúcar. That's what I've noticed too with with the juices and with the caperinha. You can like how much sugar you yeah. want. You like I your love you sugar. like your sugar. I that. like it a little in the middle yeah. and. I mean, caperinha just is, I mean, it gives you the wiggles, as yeah. I like to say, but it also is just like, it's fresh. Mm -hmm. It's just, it's, yeah, I love, I love that drink. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to think what other food we've had. So we've had pizza, you've eaten coxinha a few times. Coxinha and little baby coxinha. We had little tiny coxinha. Little tiny coxinha. <laughs> <laughs> they have some delicious, like, little fried yeah. foods. Yeah, that you can get at gas stations anyway. and truck stops and, well, they're, and they're good yeah exactly and that's what you told me because well in the states you eat something at a gas station and it's like ah. yeah you don't know how long it's been there and you there are some places in brazil that are like that too but then there are some gas stations like when we stopped at we stopped at a at like 1 a.m and they were frying fresh, fresh cochinhas <laughs> at 1 a.m. And they had like a sausage like cooking in the background. Yeah. It was just, yeah. 
Yeah. It's not very common to see yeah. that. <laughs> uh, we had, you had Picanha at yeah. the steakhouse. We went to a steakhouse. Picanha, yeah, Picanha. Not a Chahascadia, but just like a traditional a nice. like steakhouse. And whatever the, the sausage was that we got. Oh yeah, uh, just linguisa. Linguisa, yeah. yeah. Those, um, they're good with the meats. Um, and then a lot of queijo. Yeah, and, a, and a lot of powder queijo. Yeah. And I think I am just one big ball of powder queijo right now. Yeah, guys, when we were in Minas, we ate a lot of pounded queijo. <laughs> I mean, and it was it was pounded queijo, but it was also just like queijo, like everything. Yeah. You know, because they have, as I've learned, that area is known for their food, but right. also just like their cheese too. Mm -hmm. I mean, we we even have some blocks of cheese here oh, yeah. that we continue to, <laughs> to yeah. eat so yeah it's a good feeling <laughs> yeah cool well uh espero que vocês tenham gostado das primeiras impressões do churrasco no brasil não esqueçam que vai rolar muitos mais vídeos sobre a viagem aqui no canal então inscrevam-se se vocês não são inscritos Ainda, thanks man. Thank you. Uh, ainda temos muitas coisas para fazer durante essa viagem no Brasil, mas eu só queria é, fazer algumas perguntas sobre o que ele está achando do Brasil até agora. Então é isso, gente. Tchau, tchau. Tchau.